Hello, and welcome to another one of my Chapeau Shorts, my shorter, more informal videos on subjects relating to hats. The posting day for this video is Thanksgiving in the United States, so I thought I'd talk about a hat closely associated with it. The Pilgrim Hat. The Pilgrim Hat is a tall black hat, usually decorated with a large buckle on the front, that has become shorthand for Thanksgiving in many decorations today. So first of all, let me explain a little bit what Thanksgiving is for people around the world who might not know. Thanksgiving is a holiday in North America that is celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November in the United States and the second Monday in October in Canada, I believe, and is a time when families are supposed to gather around for a large meal and express gratitude for their bounty of the year. It commemorates an event in the early 17th century when the pilgrims, who actually preferred to call themselves saints, but the pilgrims, a religious group seeking a better life in America, were helped through their first winter by friendly native tribes, and after their first successful harvest, organized a great feast to give thanks. Now, the discussions around this event are the subject for another time, but it served as the basis for several days of Thanksgiving that were then instituted after the United States' independence, when the country was seeking to create its own identity. But it didn't become an annual tradition until the 1860s, when the country was trying to heal from a brutal civil war and create new traditions. At that time, the image of the black-clad pilgrim with a large white collar and a tall hat was formed. But did they actually wear these hats? Well, this hat actually is based on a real one. It's a capitaine, which I've talked about briefly in my video on the top hat, said to be descended from it, and which was a tall formal hat that was popular in the 17th century in England and Holland, incidentally, two places where the pilgrims lived before coming to America. It was a formal hat, so they were unlikely to wear it in their day-to-day -day activities. But the feast being a grand celebration, it's not implausible that they would have worn their Sunday best, so it is possible that they would have been seen in them, though of course there is absolutely no way to know for certain. However, this image got cemented in illustrations in the late 19th century that sought to make the pilgrims appear from the period, and this was a distinctive hat to do so. These depictions did add one element, though, that is thoroughly ahistorical. The buckle. The pilgrims would not have worn buckles, firstly because they wouldn't come into style for several decades, and secondly because their somewhat austere style and beliefs would have considered them too ostentatious. However, in the late 19th century, they'd been out of style for a while, and so they were added to depict the pilgrims as old-fashioned and conservative in their ways. Nonetheless, this image took off, and in the 20th century started to be added to decorations, and therefore has become somewhat of a symbol of the holiday today, along with the very famous turkey, and so it is very closely associated with Thanksgiving today. So I hope once again you found this video interesting, and will join me again soon for another hat. Until then, I tip my hat to you.